if you're an individual who has skills in JavaScript and you're looking for how to improve, um, again, the most important thing you can do is learn to be putting the user that you're trying to serve at the center of it, and then start to think in terms of hitting frames, like every 16 millisecond, hitting that hitting that interaction target that you would like to have hit on your extremely expensive device on that cheaper device and for that for that marginal user. Um, I promise you can do it. Computers are fast, right? Like, and, and you'll find out where your framework might be a stumbling block or where, you know, like React will generate way too much GC in a critical section or something and it'll hurt you. And that will turn into a challenge. You'll learn to solve it. Maybe inside the framework, maybe you'll learn to go around it a little bit, but those are incredibly important learning opportunities for you to understand the trade-offs. And then I would suggest, as again, as an individual, um, if you've been living up in JS land where you're kind of doing everything in user land, the most important hours you can spend are not learning another framework. They are learning the system underneath you. Every hour you spend learning how the browser actually processes your content and actually thinks about it, actually thinks about the networking, actually thinks about how we take DOM and CSS and we construct them together and we create the layout tree and then we paint out of the layout tree, and then we rasterize that out in the GPU, right? That flow and how we do that every 60, uh, 60 hertz, every 16 milliseconds, learning the pieces of it and the sensitivities of that system to what you do in CSS and JavaScript and through your HTML uh, will make you a better developer in every framework.